Hi there, thanks for tuning in. My name is Jason and today I'll be teaching you how to make a pen using a acrylic pen blank and a pen kit. Today we're going to be using a acrylic pen blank. Uh, it's a shamrock color, so it's going to be white, a um, little bit of pearl mixed in, and then some uh, different shades of green. We're also going to be using a nickel uh, pen kit, which is actually, that's kind of the color for it. Uh, it's going to match the pearl that's inside the uh, pen blank pretty well. Um, so this, these are the materials for actually making the pen. Uh, next we'll go ahead and start getting it going. Alright, so first thing we're going to do here, these are the two segments of the pen. What we're going to do is we're actually going to line these up with the edges and mark on here where we're going to be cutting it on the table saw. You want these to be nice and flush because Otherwise, you have to go back through and trim it up after you glue them in. Alright, now that we have the two marks here, one right here and one right here, we're going to actually go ahead and cut this on the table saw. Next we have to drill the holes in the center of the acrylic pen blanks here and that's going to be for the tubing that we're going to be uh, using on the mandrel. So in order to do this we have a drill press here um, along with a clamp and we're going to basically be drilling the holes in the center. Uh, the, drill, the clamp is already aligned so that the center of this pen blank will be aligned with the drill bit. Once you've completed the drilling, you'll then have two pen blanks, like this here, that will have two holes down the center. And these tubes here, that we're going to be using inside, they'll fit nice and smooth into the inside of the pen blanks. Next thing to do is to glue these tubes inside the pen blanks. The next step is going to be to glue the metal tubing into the acrylic pen blanks. In order to do this, you need some type of strong glue or epoxy. Today I'll be using tight bond. Uh, it's an instant bond wood adhesive. It works great on this uh, application though. Um, typically, they have three different types, thin, medium, and thick. Typically I recommend the medium because it gives you a little bit of time to work with it. So in order to do this, you're going to be matching the rods up with the appropriate size pen blanks. Basically what you do here is you're just going to take the glue and apply it slightly just a little bit. You don't want too much because then it will drip out when you're done with it. Just apply it to the rod here like so. When you're done with that, you're just going to take this tube and you're going to push it straight in there. Kind of twir twirl it a little bit. And you want to tap it to make sure it's nice and flush. And you'll notice that it does stick out a little bit from the end over here. That's okay because what's going to happen is, is when, I, uh, when it dries, we're actually going to go ahead and cut that off with a table saw. So you can just set that to the side to dry and do the same thing with the other one here. So the next step in the process is going to be setting up the uh, pen blanks on the mandrel. You're going to have these bushings that are basically little metal pieces that tell you how thick you have to turn the, the pen. So you're going to just going to go ahead and slide those bushings and the pen blanks onto the mandrel like so. You want to make sure you align the acrylic so that it's in the correct order, the same way as before you cut it. So once you do that, you go ahead and lock everything in place. And at this point, you can see when I actually turn on the lathe, how you can now turn. So now comes the actual turning of the pens. So when you're turning the pens, you have a few different tools you can use. I tend to start with this nail gouge. It's actually a little bit thicker and wider than most of the ones that you're going to be using uh, towards the end. This is actually really good for getting it to the rough diameter, diameter that you need. 
then when you need to do the fine precision tuning, you can actually switch to a different tool. So here we're going to go ahead and turn on the lathe, put it about 400 or so RPMs. Basically all I'm doing here, setting the gauge right now for the height that I want to be turning this at. And all I'm doing is I'm actually just going to go ahead and just start chipping away at the plastic here. So this here is an example. This here is an example of uh, one part of the pen that's already been turned. It's still a little rough, so I still have to sand it, but that's what it will look like turned. It's nice and just a tiny bit above the bushings, because when I sand it down, that'll be flush. So now I get to do the other side here. Basically, what we're doing here is we're just going to go through, just kind of sand this down, so we get our nice smooth edges that we want kind of help shape it a little bit too. So now that we went over with the 800, we just want to look through it real quick, make sure there's no major scratches anywhere. And it looks pretty darn good. So at this point here, we're actually going to start polishing it. Polishing actually consists of a bunch of different sandpapers. Um, they're actually not traditional sandpaper though. As you can see here, it's almost like a leather that you're going to be using. Starts off 1500 and then goes down. Now this stuff here, because we're working with acrylic and not wood, we can actually wet this a little bit. And it'll actually help keep the dust from getting inside the cracks and it'll also help extend the life of this. Once you have that nice and white, you're just going to turn on the uh, lathe again. You're just going to go through and buff it. Now, Alright, now that we're done with all the sanding, if we actually turn off the lathe here, you'll see it's very, very shiny and very smooth. There's no actual scratches on there. So at this point here, we're actually ready to take the uh, pen off of the uh, mandrel. What we're going to do first is we're actually going to take the long part here. This is the front of the pen, so you'll be holding it like this when you write. And what we're going to do is we're actually going to go ahead and take the tip here. Basically what we're doing is we're going to go ahead, this has a little rivet in there, it keeps it from pulling out once you put it in. I'm just going to go ahead and take this like so. Put it into the pen clamp. And basically we're just going to go ahead and tighten this nice and in tight, like that. When you finish that, then you have the uh, tip on like that. And you actually have the uh, tip of the writing pencil, or the pen rather, ready to go. The next step is going to be taking this little ring right here and actually placing that into that little rivet that I was uh, cutting out earlier. So the next part of the pen, we're actually going to take the front of the pen and this piece here. And this piece is basically goes in like this, the gold tip first, into the front. Basically what that does is it actually uh, is it's what holds the pen uh, ink cartridge actually in place. Um, and, we'll, and then all we do is we just push it together. And then we have our pen top as well. Now that we have the uh, top here nice and tight so there's no more gap at the top, uh, all that's left is actually just to connect these two together. They just simply slide together like this. Not much to it other than that. And then you can just basically turn it until you match up the uh, acrylic so that they go together. And now you have your finished pen. So that's how you make a uh, pen.